Friday. It is currently 6.14 in the evening. And I, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven files from earlier. Some of them are extended because I just kept talking. And as I went through and tried chopping them all up, it just, I kind of scrapped the whole thing, but I kept this here so that I could count how many files I had. Didn't like how the previous videos turned out. I kept, like I had not, not a script, but I had like talking points. So I was like, I was, I was trying to be like super official and everything, but I tried to cram too much in because I wanted to have like an international football player section that kind of applies to imports or people that want to be imports because while I don't get paid on the Hurricanes, I'm not an import player. I still am an international football player and have to deal with certain issues such as language barriers, which is not that much here in the Netherlands. And I did talk about that one. And uh, food, because not all food's the same. I mean, sure, pepperoni and pepper jack sandwiches are great, but when you have to buy chorizo in imported from Spain and comine cheese, it's a little different. It's not quite a pepperoni and, well, I used to get habanero jack. That's off the point. And then this is the various other things you have to deal with. And then I transitioned into something that was kind of like depressing. So I recorded all these videos and I sat on it and I took a bath to sort my knee out. Um, it was felt really good. Being in the submerged in warm water, it was good. Um, probably gonna take some Advil. We actually found real Advil. Basically what I'm gonna do is I, I decided to just become, turn this into, not like that, I'll do that like t next Friday. So what this is basically becoming is a kind of blurb of stuff. I'll do the international player hurdles. I mean, they're not actual issues, but they're things you have to deal with. And I talked about them anyways. So it's uh, been rough. Um, as I said yesterday's video, it's hard having to take a step back because my knee hurts a lot. <laughs> like it still sucks going up the stairs, which if anybody who tries to sprint understands that stairs, like the function of pushing up stairs is basically how you sprint. Yeah, and if it hurts to go upstairs, and it's not like ow, 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 it's just ugh, as that muscle tenses, so the muscle is bruised and I need to rest it, take some extra magnesium and whatnot. So, but I need to get my body ready for games that come up at the end of this month. Those of you wondering, game footage will be coming up by the end of the month. First game is on the 24th. It's against Utrecht. And we are at Utrecht, so it'll be an away game. So it'll be in the white uniform. And I need to be ready for that one. So I'm going to all the practices, but I'm not really going to be participating, and that sucks. But I need to get the body ready because I'm banging it up too much and I'm getting a little bit more injuries that I'm not, that are not fully healing because I still, because I'm hanging around a lot of young guys. I still think I'm somewhere in my mid twenties, but I'm actually in my late thirties. <laughs> so I don't heal as fast. And that's, and it, it's tough that I have to tell myself to do that because I do treat this kind of as a job. I go harder than a lot of the other guys. Probably because I feel like I have to prove myself. And whether that's a carryover from the States or if that's just how football is, I, it's, you know, part of the whole like international football player import life thing that I was gonna talk about kind of carries into some of this stuff. I don't speak the native language. Netherlands, y'all speak d English great. Like, this is so awesome. But it's just, it's still one of those things that makes me feel outside. Because I don't speak Dutch. I wasn't born and raised here and that's, that's really on me. A lot of these anxieties are all in my head. They probably don't exist. Because I haven't actually asked anyone if these are the problems. <laughs> you know? Stupid me for not doing my scientific research. What's the basic thing? If you have an issue, ask. Well, I'm not asking. Um, part of the issue is a difficulty and I'm not pro I'm probably not using it as a crutch is you know my flavor of autism is Asperger's and well with all autism there's a lot of social cue problems and I've got enough problems with Americans now I gotta figure out the Dutch <laughs> which the Dutch and and you know they, they're a lot more honest in what they do I don't I haven't really detected 
I mean, when they speak English, I haven't detected much sarcasm in their voice. Um, I tend to use sarcasm more often than they do, and that's saying something. And, you know, I am like the American, which has a stigma attached to it, whether it be negative because of the government or positive because of it's our sport, you know, like, I'm still relatively new to this, you know, at like five years, and I haven't had the day in and day out training for months and months and months with like 50 other guys, like high school or college. I never had any of that. I had once a week practices that kind of didn't work with possibly people that didn't have my best interests or, you know, they only held their interests, whether they were from their fictional book or whatnot. You know, it's like, I, I had a problem with Americans reading the Dutch. And the thing is with Americans, they like to hide a lot of things. They are, they're, they're fake. So when I detect that in the Dutch, I immediately think, oh, they're being closed off, you know? And so I think they're hiding things and they're not. But to me, everybody hides everything because that's what I, what it was in the States. A lot of it, like I said, is proving myself, making sure that I'm good enough to be a linebacker. You know, I don't know what level the Netherlands plays at. I don't know if I'm good enough for them. I, I fought against everything in my body that says, no, go, go play for you know, the weakest team in the league. That way you know that you're, you can't be any worse, you know. If, if you're bad, then, you know, you, that's it, you know. But Willie was like, no, go for the biggest team. Go for the best team, you know. And I did. I went with the national champions and they just, it just, it feels like there's a lot of needing to be something. And I don't know if I can be that. And it, it hits me every, every day, every Thursday, every Saturday, technically Wednesdays and, or every Wednesday and every Sunday, and technically a little bit at the end of Wednesdays and Saturdays, I get an anxiety build up because it's, I'm, I'm actually afraid of practices. I go because I need to. Staying home doesn't help me get better at football. You know, it is much more detrimental than me sucking it up, you know, but there are times when I get a little injured and I keep going and I keep going because I'm like trying to prove myself. <laughs> it's like, do you have a chip on your shoulder? Have you seen Atlas? <laughs> I think that's what the chip on your shoulder means. People say, you know, chill, calm out, calm down. It's just here to have fun. I'm just like, I don't know how to chill. I don't. <laughs> Unless, you know, <laughs> I start partaking in, you know, Amsterdam. <laughs> with the Green New Deal, or whatever you want to call it these days, it keeps a video monetized. But yeah, and so I, I, I try my hardest, and I go probably extra in practice, and as Timothy said last night on WhatsApp while I was on the way home, he says, you, you spent five seasons getting, like, not necessarily wrong information, but I wasn't taught the basics. And I was around a bunch of guys that probably didn't do the basics very well. Um, I wasn't, you know, as I watched game footage, you know, none of these guys really tackled. A few of them did, but like even the linebackers weren't, you know, when I watched from before, not here. From before, it was like, oh my God, like that running back just like really would roll out of a linebacker's hands. You know, and but just watching that year after year, it kind of got into my head, you know, and since we never went over the basics and now I come here and I'm having to do the basics and I got to break habits. Whereas some of the guys that have never played before are making habits. They're making the right habits. Meanwhile, I got to break them. I'm old. I'm, I'm, I wasn't very physically active. So it's taking a long time to break habits and it feels like I'm falling behind that I'm like the worst member of the Hurricanes. Like, I understand that I'm probably not. You know, because when it comes down to the playbook, I got that, I got that down, no problem. You know, to me the playbook's easy. Especially Will Linebacker. But I don't know, I just, 
I need to chill physically and mentally before games so that I can be ready for games and not be like already burned out and like at least this Sunday I'm not going to be padding up. I'm going to practice and I'll be going to every practice but it just... I don't think I'm that good at football and it hits me in my head all the time. And that every, every little mistake is just another nick that's going to keep me on the bench because I had five, well, four years of that. First year, I didn't make the team, um, which I understood. I was new to the sport and I was drastically underweight. And, you know, for what it, Americans would want for football, or at least my size, I was like 175 pounds of like 80 kilos. <laughs> There are guys currently on the team that are way less than that, that way less than that, but they're also like way shorter than me. I mean, Willie weighed less than that, but he's, it's tough admitting this stuff on camera. And right now I can even tell that I'm not, this video didn't turn out quite the way I thought it was going to. It's all up here and I don't get it out very well. But with language barriers and socializing problems and having to, break bad habits. It's just, when I say America screwed me up in ways I never understood, it's, it did. It, it just, <laughs> I'm trying to become better. And I only know flank speed. It's gotten me this far, and it's probably going to take me farther. But I actually thought, <laughs> jokingly, to kind of cheer myself up. Weird, I'm American, so I think of depressing things to cheer myself up. <laughs> you know? Every little time I have to limp around the field because a foot or an ankle, I'm just like, oh, one day closer to the coaching. And I'm not even good at that one because I haven't been doing football that long. I'm not anywhere close to coaching. <laughs> I mean, unless I were doing like midges, but not many teams are in here to do that. But anyways, I'll catch you guys over the weekend. I'll edit this video here tomorrow morning. We'll figure out how things going. Everything's kind of tipped to the side. Cause... <laughs>